in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to update data using php so here we are going to first of all have a update option here and when we click on that update option it will take us to another page with some certain data so let's go back to our port and here you can see we have a table and we have the tier tag for the table gainer so after this delay th we are going to have one more th for update so let's say here update if we now save then refresh here there you can see we have update option so let's go and create a button here so that we can click on a certain data so let's go back to the code and we've go down and here you can see we have the delay option so after this we are going to mention a td here and in this td we are going to mention an anchor tag so here let's say update save it then let's refresh here and there you can see we have the update option so right now what we will do is that when you claim on this update option it will take us to another page and it will also get the id of a certain data so for it what you need to do is that here let's say update dot php so right now we need to create this update dot php so let's just right click here then click on new file and i will to say here update dot php control s then set so let me just say here simple html and in the body i'm going to say here update page let's set this so right now if we click on this update button it will take us to this page so let's we'll just refresh here and click on update there you can see it took us to this page and here at the top you want to get the id so for it what you're going to do is that now here after this update.bht we're going to give a question mark sign then we'll say here id equal to so what you're going to do is that we're going to get this id for a certain data over here so in order to do that we need to give a question mark here i mean the php opening then the php closing like this and here you can see it by using dollar row we are able to get the id name email so the same way we can also get the id here as well so i will to set your default dollar row to card bracket and we'll get the id gas we we'll say here id so right now if we save this refresh here and click on update there you can see it took us to update.php page with the id which is this here you can see id got to this if i click this on here it is the id is 8 if i click on update there you can see id is 8 so right now in order to update that data those data we need to have some input fee over here right so let's go and make some input field and we want to update the name and the email address they said so for it what we need to do is that in the update.php where we're going to mention a form and in this form let's have a d and in this tip let's have a level level will be next to name for this level we're going to have a input field the input type will be text and the name will be let's say name let me just give a PR tag here to print some space so let me just copy this and i'm going to paste it here this time i'm going to set here email and the type will be email and the name will be email so we need to give all work b for the setting button so here we do not need level so we we'll say here input type between b submit the name would be update and the value between b update let's bet this and right now if we just refresh here click on update it will take us to this page and here you can see we have the name field and email field so right now what we want to is that First of all, we need to get the mail and email whenever we click on a certain update button. Let's say if we click on this update button, we want the mail and steam alert of gmail.com to those input field. So how can we do it? At that is here you can see we are already sending the ID to this page. So right now what we are going to do is that we go at the top 
and here we are going to open the PHP opening and the PHP goes in here so first of all what we need to do is that we need to connect this updated PHP to the database here it is our database there is PHP tutorial so we need to connect it to the database so let me just pick that variable let's say dollar font equal to we say here my SQLI connect my SQL I connect then inside this we are going to set our local force then we are going to give the username which is root then the password which is null by default then we are going to mention our database name and our database name is php tutorial so we set here php tutorial so right now we are connected to the database so what we need to do is that by using this id as you can see by using this id we are going to take the data from the student table and show it over here so for it what we need to do is that we need to do that another variable let's say dollar get underscore sql equal to we'll keep to double position then we'll say get yes, select star form our table name which is students so let me just show you here you can see our table name is students so we say here yes, so the star form student then we we'll say here choir id equal to root single quotations and we need to in this with the second law so here you can see this id this id is basically this one here you can see id and here you can see we give to single quotation so here the id we we'll get is basically uh this one that we are sending from here whenever someone click on the update button so for it let me just declare a variable here so let me say that dollar s underscore id equal to we'll send that dollar underscore get then we need to say that id so here you can see id this id is basically uh this one here you can see id equal to so this id is this all and we are keeping this id in this variable s underscore id and we are going to say this dollar s underscore id there so we are going to say here dollar s underscore id so what will happen is that whenever someone uh, click on a update button it will get the id then here what it will do is that it will store that id in this variable and then using that id we are going to get the data for that specific student so right now we are going to say dollar theory equal to let's say here my sql i underscore kb we need to keep for first bracket and there first of all we need to mention this database connection after that we need to mention this dollar and get sql this all okay so we keep this inside this variable so we just need a form on here and measure it. so after this what we need to is that we are getting the data and storing it to this query variable so right now this is a single data so when we are displaying any data we are using foreign loop but since uh, this is a single data so we do not need to use foreign loop so here we are just going to declare a variable. No, let's say dollar row equal to we send here my sqli underscore phase underscore it will be row and inside this we are just going to mention this dollar qd okay so i hope you are dear nobody i will explain this again so whatever data we have for this patient id will be stored in this dollar row variable so using this dollar row we will be able to get the specific id at specific event address so right now we go down and here you can see we have the name keyboard bin so here we are going to say hello then we are going to give the phd opening the phd closing so after this we will be using the dollar row we part bracket to seal position and first of all this is a name so we want to get the name and the name variable uh, i mean the name column is it is like this name and email so 
I'm going to say their name. And again, for email, we're going to do the same. We're going to give the PHP opening, then the PHP closing. And here, we're going to, okay, let me just copy this. Then paste it here. And here, I'm going to say here, email. So right now, let's just explain this again. So whenever someone click on this update button, it will get the special ID for that update. And then it will go to the update.csv base. And first of all, we will uh, connect it to the database. Then here, the ID we are sending from here will catch it over here. Then we write a SQL query that select star from our table name where ID is equal to the ID we are sending from here, which is this one. Then we are executing the query and then we are storing that in the dollar row variable. And using that dollar row, we are also get the name and keyway. Okay, so right now if we save, then if we now refresh here and click on, let's say for this on Smith with at the right of gmail.com. If you click on this update button, Okay, that's the error. The error is uh, we need to mention the add echo. Sorry, I forgot to write this. We need to say the add echo and also echo here as well. It will save it again. Then refresh. Okay, so we are getting an error here undefined add Okay, I think that issue might be uh, this one below. I think this one this will be as so. well not pro let me just save it again and let me refresh and then you can see whatever we get the name and the email address if i now click on different on let's say for john if i click on update then it can see here what to see the data to update so right now we want to update the data so for it what you need to do is that here you can see for this update.php we have a form so inside this form we are going to set here action then we'll set our method. So method will be forced. And right now what we are going to do is that we are going to go at the top and we are going to give a if condition. If then to first bracket, then to second bracket like this. So right now first of all what we are going to check in this if condition is that if someone click on the update button or not. So here you can see name equal to update. So what we are going to do is that we are going to set that gift is set. We are going to set dollar underscore post. And here in the variable we are going to mention this net which is update. So we are going to set their update. So we will come to this if condition only while someone click on the update button. So right now here we are going to set or we can just directly copy this s underscore id equals to dollar underscore get id after that when we declare on more variable let's say dollar s underscore name equal to we'll say get dollar underscore post and here in this post variable uh, we are going to mention this name here here you can see name equal to name so we're going to say name here then we are going to say let me just copy this and paste it here and keep doing the email. So here we are saying post because in the method we said here post. Okay, so that's why. So right now we can write the SQL query to update our data. So we are going to declare a variable here, let's say dollar update underscore SQL equal to we we'll give double quotation and here we are going to say update our table name which is student then we need to say here say then here in the database you can see we write here name we want to update the name and email so we are going to say here set name equal to we give to single quotation here and we are going to give this s underscore name here then we will give a comment here so after name we have to update the email so we we'll set our email equal to we we'll get to single quotations 
and we are going to set here locate this one will be yes underscore email let me just copy this and we'll paste it here after that we are going to set here for the id equal to to single quote sham but the id is this one yes underscore id so we can just paste this here and in this with that semi block so after that we need to take that on mode variable let's say dollar data equal to my sql i underscore query to first bracket and here we're going to mention this dollar font care give a comma then we are going to mention this update sql let me just copy this paste it here and after that if you want to check or show a message that update is successful you can give a if condition so here you can say if dollar data if the update is successful we can show a script message here so script opening and script closing here inside this we can set here alert uh indeed with the saving loan and we can set here data updated successfully so the thing is we need to set here ego then to double quotation care i just cut this and paste it inside the double quotation and let me remove this semicolon from here let's in this with a semicolon let's set this and let me just refresh here let's click on an update option there you can see john and something let's say yeah john on to three email will be john on to three click on update it shows a message that that update is successfully if i click ok there you can see so let me just go back to our base and let me refresh here there you can see john on to three so right now what we do is that after updating the data we'll send the user to this display.pc page so here after this data update successfully we are going to set here header to first bracket to double position and it will be capital location and the location will be display.php so right now if we now just set this and let's go back refresh here let's click on uh let's say yam shakil in this one let's remove shakil from here and also from email let's remove shakil let's uh, click on update there you can see it took us to the update dot page the page and that are nice updated so this is how we can update data in php if you have any question or suggestion you can let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials